Hello there and welcome back to my channel. I'm Yash and today I will teach you how to create collection view inside a table view cell. So this is a basic implementation video of logic. I will create more complex tutorials in future. So here I have a table view which crawls vertically and all other uh, cells contain a collection view, a collection of cells and I have just changed the background color of cell so that we can see the difference and so the logic how how this thing uh, how collection view works inside the table view cell so first of all uh, this is the basic architecture you say uh, we will have a view controller which will point to a table view a table view will have a table view cell and each table view cell will contain a collection view and each collection view will have like multiple cells so the main problem here is how to identify which collection view we need to put our data in and uh, another thing is that same view controller will be data source and delegate for both our table view and collection view so in order to identify collection view uniquely we will set a tag property so what are tag is a tag is an integer that you can use to identify view objects in your application so that's what we are going to do so let's get started here I have already created a new Xcode project and uh, the thing is we will delete view controller dot swift file and I'll just say delete and move to trash and we will create two new swift files and this will be both will be cockroach class and first will be a subclass of ui table view controller and this will be main vc and hit next and save and another file we need is let's say new file cockroach class and this will be a ui table view cell and let's name it custom table view cell that's it so good create and i like this file above storyboard so i'll just drag and drop here uh, under main.storyboard i will just remove everything and i will add as i need it so i'll just get rid of all the stuff okay so from my previous video i just uh, copied one of the helper function this helper function uh, helps us generate 2D arrays of UI color. So as you can see, these are 2D arrays. Uh, this is in itself a whole new different topic. So I won't be explaining this function over here. But so just use it. You, you will be getting this project from my website. So you can just download it and copy and paste this function. So that's it. Uh, let's hop over to main.storyboard and get rid of this view controller and just say delete here i will add a table view controller table view controller and just drop here and this will be our initial view controller let's assign a file this will be a main vc file and the height will be custom height and it will be 80 so make sure you select table view cell and go to the size inspector and set it to 80. Here we will drag and drop a collection view. So uh, let's before doing that, uh, click on table view cell and we will give it a identifier. So this will be T cell, which means that table view cell. And now we will drag and drop a collection view in between and just decrease the size and select the collection view cell uh, collection view here and go to this constraints thing and here i will say five from top five from left five from right and five from bottom and this will not be constrained to margins so just uncheck that thing and collection view so we have it here now we will select collection view cell again the identifier and this will be c cell so basically it means that collection view cell and go to size inspector and click collection view you will get this bunch of options so this will be 45 uh, let's do 46 so it's easier to get height so 46 and 
this section in sets will be phi, 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 and phi. That's it. So I guess we are done with the collection view part, but one last thing remains is select collection view, cell, and we need, uh, I guess table view cell, uh, so T cell, and we need to give it a class. So it's a custom table view cell. So the funny part here is that we are not going to create a collection view cell file. So that's something different. And now we will be connecting our collection view. And here just select, okay, main VC. Why don't I get, okay. Let's do manual collection view and custom table view cell and I'll just select collection view and control drag here and I will just call it collection view and hit connect and it's connected and I will get rid of this bunch of boilerplate code we don't need it so uh, we are done with the main dot storyboard part so let's hop over to our uh, custom table view cell file and we will be in code editor so uh, here uh, for collection view to set delegate and data source we will be creating a function so just follow me function set collection view delegate and this will be a generic function so just add in d and this will confirm to protocol ui collection view delegate and ui collection view data source and open close parentheses here we will say delegate and this will be d uh, generics is a big topic in itself so if you want to learn more about generics just google generics and you will get uh, lots of help on that and this will be for row and row and this will be integer and open close parentheses and here we will say collection view collection view dot delegate is equal to delegate and collection view dot data source is equal to delegate and we will say collection view dot tag is equal to row so we are identifying each collection view by the row in which it is placed so and we will reload collection view so reload data uh, we are done with this custom cell part uh, now all we need to do is we need to do stuff in main VC so here is our main VC file uh, as I told before I'm telling again this is a helper function which I created myself but I just copied it from my previous project if you still need this uh, or you can just download the project from my website and just copy the function and you're good to go so here I will create a data model so data model is equal to and here I will use this function which I created so it will be generate and here with rows will be 15 rows with 15 items in each and let's get started with table view first so here uh, so this is table view controller so we don't need to confirm to UI table view delegate and data source protocols and we don't need to assign delegate and data source like explicitly it's already done so here we will say number of sections and this will be just return one and now we need number of rows so yeah number of rows number of rows in section and here we will just return data model dot count and we now need cell so cell for row at index path and here i will just say cell let cell equal to uh, table view dot tq reusable and uh, cell with identifier identifier will be t cell because this is a table view cell and here we will just pass an index path and just return cell and one more thing uh, we are giving a custom height so here you can say height uh, so height for cell So, okay height for yeah height for row at index path and here you can just return the same height so the height which I gave was 80 so I'll just say 80 here 
this is prompting us for override because there is some problem with this export so I'll just type in myself here as well so override and yep I guess unexpected non void okay oh we don't need to return anything and will display oh this is will display okay we need cell for row at index path so this is wrong so what we need is cell for row at index path and this is what we need so this will be let cell equal to uh, table view dot dq reusable cell with identifier identifier will be t cell and index path will be just index path index path comes from here and uh, we just need to return this cell so return cell okay uh, now we need the will display cell function as well so will display cell and here I will say let oh I'll say if let table view cell is equal to cell as and we will say custom table view cell and open close parentheses here we will just say table view cell dot set this is the function we created so this will be just self uh, we are basically saying that this view controller is the delegate and data source for collection view and for row will be index path dot row and this we are passing it uh, so that we can assign collection view with the specific row and so here we are done with uh, the whole table view thing now we need to work on our collection view part here if you just scroll uh, this is for override I'll just fix it and this says that this uh, argument type main VC does not conform to expected type UI collection view data source protocol so let's do that uh, here the uh, now we will create one extension extension of main VC and this extension will conform to UI collection view data source and UI collection view delegate here uh, two functions are mainly required so which are number of items in section and item for section okay uh, let's return here first so this will be written data model and here we will say collection view dot tag dot count and now we need that function which is item I cannot find it okay so oh, 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 item 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 okay so for item so this should be it so will display cell not this one for item so it's something like item in section I guess item in section Okay, somehow I'm not able to find it. So let's just click on your UI collection view data source and here we are. So this both are mandatory. So it's cell for item at index path. My bad. It's same thing. So it's so we can say cell for row at cell for item at index path. Yeah, whatever. So here we will say let's sell. So let uh let's sell equal to collection view dot so collection view dot dq reusable identifier and this will be c cell and index path will be index path and we will just say cell dot background color is equal to UI color oh not that so we will be fetching the background color from our data model so here we will pass in collection view dot tag and for another this will be index path dot row now we will just like make it round so it looks beautiful so cell dot layer dot corner radius 
is equal to cell dot bounce dot height by two and just return the cell and we should be good to go uh, type okay oh this is again the will display thing just I'll just copy this so copied and get rid of this function so cell for row okay this one and just paste it here so the function should read cell for item at index path and now it works all the errors are gone and let's run the application for one last time and see how it works so uh, not all this stuff so this is my previous application okay so the reason we see it this way is because we forgot to do one thing so stop the application go to main.storyboard and select your collection view and bring up this go to this I, um, attribute inspector and here we will say scroll direction will be horizontal show horizontal uh, vertical indi indicators I don't like them so I, I'll just take take them off I'll take them off from table view as well so boom boom and let's run the application for one last time and see how it looks so it looks good so here is a basic implementation of collection view inside table view cell and we as you can see we can scroll vertically so we are basically scrolling our table view and if you pick one cell and just scroll left to right horizontally we are scrolling collection view so if you have any questions post them in comments if you like my video thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for future videos until next time